Hey fellow peers, Sophia Static here, and I decided something. I decided that any of my speed draw videos, whether it be of sprites or my thumbnails or sometimes random art, uh, I'm gonna make it into like update videos basically, or just general discussion videos, because I am such an original. I've never seen or heard someone ever do that before. Like, oh my god, I'm 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 revolutionary. Oh my god. But no, basically, uh, yeah, this is kind of going to be a progress report video because it's almost been a year since I debuted this channel. I kind of want to reflect what's happened so far and what I want to improve and stuff like that. And also, oh, I forgot, I'm going to have bloopers in this video and uh, outtakes from Potential Music Geek. If the outtakes or um, progress report or general discussion, if, if those don't um, float your boat, then I highly suggest just muting this video and putting on any music or podcast that you'd prefer while you watch the speed draw. Because I know people just like to watch people draw sometimes, so you have the option. Just letting you know, I will not be offended if you decide to mute this to listen to something else while you watch this. Um... As you could probably tell, this isn't fully scripted. Like, I have bullet points, but it's gonna be less structured, so you'll get to hear all my stammering glory in, all, in most of my pauses. I'll probably edit out the pauses, depending on how long the actual speed draw is. But, um, so what you see right now is a speed drawing video of a sprite I drew for my previous video, which is Potential Music Geek. Razmataz and Potential Music Geek is this um, music review series I decided to <laughs> see. Potential Music Geek is this music review series I decided to do because I have a huge CD collection and I thought, hey, people do music reviews, but I don't think enough people do like CD reviews anymore because they're kind of outdated. But I like collecting CDs, so why not do that? So yeah, this is a sprite I made. And it was for a five second jab at myself, but I wound up liking this a little bit too much, even though it's not fantastic. Like, it's better than my other sprites that I've drawn for my persona. For as long as I can remember, I have um, always experimented with ways to do art. I've always drawn, I've always like experimented with film, photography, stuff like that. So, um, but I've never fully done digital art because I've been limited in my resources a lot of the time. I didn't always have the nicest programs or let alone have time to work with any programs I had access to because I, I, I tend to get preoccupied with other shit, so. Um, but yeah, as you could probably tell, I'm more comfortable drawing traditionally more comfortable drawing traditionally like pen and paper or color pencil paper or whatever. And part of the reason why I started this um, whole Sophia Static channel was to kick myself in the ass to improve my digital art skills because I believe I could do it. I just haven't given myself time to actually practice it. <laughs> Even though what I've been drawing for almost the first year of this channel is quote unquote fine, I haven't been 100% satisfied with it. I feel like I'm relying too much on a drawing medium I'm less familiar with. Like I threw myself in the deep end first before practicing in the shallow end, you know? And another reason why I made this channel, or why most people make channels really, um, is so I can learn and adapt and so I'll be able to look back and see, wow, I I was here and now I'm here. It's like, well, to show myself, like, I am progressing, like, like, I can learn. I can, uh, I can get better. Le Again, what, what I'm doing is, I guess, quote-unquote fine, but I'm not where I want to be. So within the next year or so, expect a slight shift in um, this channel's style, where I go back to using more traditional art techniques while I'm drawing digitally. Like, yeah, I, I just thought, like, if I just, oh, I'll dumb it down for myself. So, so, uh, I can, um, uh, put out more content, you know, but in the... 
uh, but sacrifice my satisfaction in said products by doing so. So, but no, in terms of um, the style for the channel, uh, specifically my persona is I'm keeping the general uh, color pa palette and concept. I'm still going for the TV theme, like the VHS core theme, the gray tone skin and hair and stuff like that. But then like the clothing's colorful and stuff like that. Cause um, note, um, like I said, the skin and hair always be grayscale. Like if for some reason I have a uh, collabs or whatever, like the skin tones and hair will be grayscale unless you dye your hair. And then whatever colored clothing you have, that's the color it's gonna be. So I didn't like do the V-neck and the pants for uh, to match my skin tone or anything. I, I did it because I wear gray and black all the time and then like a pop of color, which happens to be the red boots. But I'm still actually gonna hone in more of the existing color palette that I have like in my banner and stuff. And based on my inspiration from the TV test screen uh, colors. Le uh, even in this sprite, I decided like, wow, I actually like this outfit a little more than my current outfit. Like it uh, has a little more personality to it. And it goes more with the theme I had in mind. So unexpectedly, this sprite actually encouraged me to change my avatar really or persona oh, do you call do you call your youtube um profiles or whatever profile pictures do you call them avatars or personas i've seen i've seen and heard both terms i, I use it interchangeably so mm, what's your preference there but yeah i mostly want to improve my character sprites or avatar sprites or persona sprites even though this sprite was made for like a five second joke towards myself, I was more satisfied with this sprite than I have been with any of my other sprites. I feel more of an artistic satisfaction. And I want to feel more of that artistic satisfaction going on while I make videos. And my goal is to have like a, a backlog of like videos so that at least once a month I have something churning out. But then I'm kind of job searching right now, so I don't know how if that will halt it or if or anything. So, but we'll see. I'll I'll uh, update accordingly. <laughs> don't worry. Um. But yeah. Just keep in mind that my upcoming sprite art might not look exactly like uh, what I'm drawing on the screen, but it should be an improvement of what I've been churning out this past year though, hopefully. Hopefully, like I said, I want this channel to be like a progress report for myself because I aim to improve my art and my videos because uh, I love messing around with media like it's one of my favorite things to do and I just want to keep kicking myself in the ass keep on doing it and not give it up so but yeah expect improvements also I plan on uh branching out my material too not just being um like cd reviews and like art progress uh videos like I I'm actually workshopping like a story time video for at least October, I think, to see how that works out. And I'm also uh, thinking about um, trying like comic dubs or something like that. And I, I don't know. I, I'm just going to try different things and see what happens. It, 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 as long as it pertains to my general like multimedia experimentation, like motivation, I, I'm I'm just gonna mess with that. So expect a variety of more material, too. Now I'm gonna play some bloopers and some extra material that uh, I recorded during the potential Music Geek Razzmatazz uh, album review. It's just two little like audio bloopers and one where I randomly start singing one of the songs, but 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 it should be short sure enough to where I won't get a copyright strike cross my fingers. If I do, then I'll just re-upload this video without that. Hey fellow peers, Sophia Static here. 
and welcome back to Potential Music Geek, a music review series of the CDs I own. <coughs> oh god. Something so stuck in my throat. Ugh. God. I don't know how is a music side project by Dallin Weeks and Ryan Seaman. Contri I don't know how is a music side project by Dallin Weeks and Ryan Seaman. Contributor contributors to a plethora of bands both Contributors contributors to a plethora of bland the <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you to my current subscribers who have supported me this past year. Which of my videos have you liked the best? Do you have any constructive criticism as to how I can improve myself this next year? Let me know in the comments below. Also, what are your goals for this next year concerning your channel? Let me know down below. Until next time, stay safe and I'll see you later my fellow peers. Bye.